Okay, that's very authentic. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be checking out AZ. Which, it's a game, if you're not familiar, um, heavily inspired by the Zelda game that should not be named in front of Nintendo. And refuses to be acknowledged. Of Faramore, but, good game, Earth, not bad game. A beautiful, bountiful land. It has been ruled by the royal Rockland family. For the aesthetic is like, Such very, very 90s. Opposed to this piece was the evil demon lord, Dimer, who amassed an army Dimer. of evil in an effort to conquer the land and plunge it into eternal darkness. Driven by greed and power, several defected to Dimer's cause, like Duke Nodelki, lord of the island nation of Amalog. Long battles ensued, with hope fading from the hearts of the people. In a desperate measure, the king and his royal advisor, Wagram, directed an assault upon Dimer's lair in the country of Ocarin. After clearing a path... I like the illustrations. Arzette ...and an unlikely hero, Dale, confronted the Demon King. As Dale distracted Dimer, Arzette, well-versed in both sword fighting and magic, imprisoned the Demon King in the Book of Ocarin, a magical prison controlled by the Jewel of Faramore. Upon Dimer's capture, his dark army was vanquished, ensuring victory for the forces of good. Upon each use, the Jewel of Faramore shatters. Following Dimer's defeat, the king ordered each of the five jewel shards to be guarded at separate locations in perpetuity. After the war's end, the traitorous Duke Nodelki was sentenced to a lifetime of hard labor. Scrub the floors. On the spoils of his All the floors in the kingdom. Continued to train, swearing to uphold what they fought. I'm sure that's a reference to that. To that end, peace persisted in the kingdom of Faramore for a little over a decade. Well, here we go. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I mean, it should be fine. Let's not do anything. Ten years of scrubbing floors! <laughs> Finding <laughs> it's so good. Shards was no easy task, but now... My mind just goes to early YouTube humor here. Long last, I had returned! Nodoki, for freeing me, I offer you power. Y yes, Master. Th th thank you. Exchange for thy soul. Uh, of course, Master. Very good. Henceforth, you'll have the power to crush your foes in my name. Now, on to other matters. I love the aesthetic. <laughs> It just matches it perfectly. My trusted servants, I am pleased you've not forgotten me. Take each of these shards. It's okay, nondescript triangles. So that I may never be imprisoned again. My revenge will be. What's that last dude, business dragon? The punishment will be eternal. This kingdom will be mine. Our worst fears have come true. Dimer and his minions have returned. That's impossible. What about the Jewel of Faramore? Oh, our vigilance waned. The Jewel Shards are with the enemy. Ah, easy peasy. We just gotta get the Jewel back together and trap him <laughs> in that old book, hmm. right? This guy reminds me of someone, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh, the land. It prevents our approach. Your eyes cannot see daylight out there. What about the sacred beacons? They weakened Dimer before. I'm afraid that due to complacency, they've been left unlit. 
I've never played the um oh, well. Zelda City I games. Well, but I've seen know, enough of the cutscenes throughout the years. The I've seen some gameplay of that game. I'm not <laughs> another issue. My scouts report sightings of dark tapestries that impede critical paths. Oh, not a problem. My ancestors hid sacred candles throughout the kingdom that can burn these tapestries. That settles it then. Another fun adventure for me to stay out of. <laughs> Where must I go? I place teleportation uh... of the kingdom that you may use, so long as the dark fog around them has been dispelled. I'll be leaving then. Good luck! Get back before dinner! Be safe, my daughter. Alright. Wanna defeat Dimer? Let's get started. Move left or right to start running. Oh wow, that Let's got jump to leap. <laughs> Jumping into action. <laughs> the voice actor for Link. Attack to slash your sword. I recognize that voice. It interacts with both objects and people. It hurts only those that aren't friendly. Get some bombs by slashing that bag. Press item to use items. Try bombing some column. Yep. <laughs> Slink. Allows you to enter doors and climb ladders. Go in that door. The way he said column. You Unmistakable. Can moving down. Moving while crouching lets you duck watch. This old trick gets you into tight spaces. Your magic pouch holds your items. You can select items here, view your quest status, and set options. So much space, huh? Some paths are closed to you until you have the right tools. Keep that in mind while you explore. I mean, this game is more or less a flick. The idea for Zelda City I was actually fleshed out. They'll open new areas so and had good controls. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. It's okay. Teleportation scrolls allow you to exit to the world map quickly. Go ahead, take off. Well, what are you waiting for? Defeat Dimer and have some fun. I will. All right, let's go. Yeah, the art style is, is very, very 90s. No upstab though. This is taking me back to... I had friends who would make games and they would look often look like this. I mean, probably not as detailed, but like... I guess the art style being pencil drawings that they put in Photoshop. Just checking. Already low. Where's my replenish? <laughs> uh oh, that can't be good. I was half expecting the king to be like, my girl. They'll probably throw that in at some point. Go on. 
See, now I'm being careful. Oh, ooh. Okay. This is seven exit. Hang on, what is this? Is this how did <laughs> it just hotel Mario me? It just wow, okay. I mean, if they're gonna go CDI, they may as well go, go all out. Ooh, almost out of time. Oh! <laughs> that was close. I didn't realize there was a timer. Could have given me health for the. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Not fair. I got sniped. What is this? Uh oh. Mm. Try again. No, it's not gonna work. All right. Oh, great. They finally sent someone to kill me. All right, make it snappy. I'm sure you got places to go, other people to kill. Uh, no. Who would do that? Oh, my name is Cypress. I want to move into town, but the mayor thinks I'm a monster man. Aw. Really? You don't think I'm a disgusting, rabid nut? <laughs> you think you could convince the mayor to let me move in then, and stop thinking I'm the wolf among us? If you do, this old lantern is yours! Speak with the mayor to help him and you'll get the lantern. Important quests like these are logged on your quest screen. Okay. This is great how the aesthetic matches the game. I think the, the inherent thing that was wrong with Zelda CDI was just, like, it played horribly. Not so much that the idea was bad. The side-scrolling Link was in Zelda 2, and Zelda 2, despite not everyone liking it, it's still a good game. I think it came down to, like, the controller that the CDI used. It was basically a TV remote. I don't know. It's just anything that was multifunctionality just tended to be a flop. Definitely like a remnant of the 80s having a TV remote being a way that you play games. Oh, okay. Golly, this <laughs> our set. Oh, oh, oh you <laughs> that guy. lit a beacon. I doubt the rest will be that easy. Any new info? Mm, indeed. My scouts have reported blockades enchanted with color magic. How am I supposed to get through them? You'll need a tool that can fire magic of the same color. Uh. Great. Something else I have to find. Careful, Arzy. 
don't get red in the face. <laughs> Tell me there's only <laughs> one color to deal with. Oh. Uh... To my knowledge, there are three types of color magic. <sighs> don't look so blue, princess. Punch him, please. Okay. Oh, nice town music. Mayor, please grant Cypress Town citizenship. That beastly brute. That snivelly hound. Here in my Polkara Demon. Never. You know, my smart sword doesn't hurt friendly folks. You're not being very friendly. Citizenship to Mr. Cypress granted. Ahoy, hoy! <laughs> okay, cool. What else is there to do here? I declare this the safest place in the land. And rabble rousers and mischief makers have no quarter with me. The crown is ever grateful for your service. Anything to report? Rumors speak of strange scrolls that allow you to teleport to special areas. Special... areas? Places that test your metal and reward you with riches. Ho oh, ho if I could teleport, I'd find these scrolls and... <laughs> halt, ne'er-do-wella! It's locked. Your grace. <laughs> At ease, Univor. Did I surprise you? The good kind of surprise. Not like running out of supplies. You don't want to be caught without a bomb in a hard place. I'll remember that. Keep up the good work. Yes, princess. I surely... Oh, hello. Hey, want one on the house, princess? No, thank you. Say, that's a smith's anvil behind you, isn't it? Ah, yes. I was a great blacksmith in a past life. I dreamed of forging the ultimate weapon. But alas, those days are gone. Please, go on. Well, this dream weapon needs refined chains and sacred oil. Problem is, they're impossible to get. The oil's kept by some unbeatable wizard in a dungeon. <laughs> These facial expressions. No about the chains. I'd go investigate it myself, but you know, I am but a mere small, timid man. A great big muscular warrior is what we need. Hmm. Well, I'll get the oil and find the chains for you. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't ask. Yes, but you're not asking. I will do this. Anything else? Oh, here's the key to the dungeon with the oil. Good luck with that. My only tip is to help folks in need. That'll probably steer you on the right path. Mmm, you got an eye for beauty, don't you? <laughs> I suppose... I lost my husband this accent. in war. He was turned into a creature, got bombed. Boom! <laughs> Shook the whole room, I tell you. He never gave me the jewelry I wanted. Bring me something starry, will ya? In return, I have something to quench your thirst. <laughs> uh... Okay. <laughs> hey, look everyone! It's the princess! I'm pretty sure they can see me. Yeah, but you always gotta be mindful of what's around ya. If you see anything nasty coming your way, you gotta knock it away with your weapon. <laughs> Resident Bonnie. Bonnie Gumble. Will that work? Okay, it did. Oh, it's a rat. Howdy there, stranger. I take it you're on a quest. Right. Apologies for the hole. Oh, no worries about that. I could use a little sunshine in here anyway. <laughs> if you dig further down, maybe I can finally get some plumbing in here too.
You know, an adventurer has got to explore all curiosities. Curiosities? Yeah. Crack walls. Strange spaces. Investigate them. Of course, you don't seem to be afraid of throwing those bombs. I once even heard of a hero finding a cooked turkey leg in a wall. All <laughs> season to perfection, the legend says. Yeah, you might even find a few coins hidden away by portly old fools. Keep your eyes peeled, you hear? Thanks. I'll do my best. <laughs> That's the spirit. Also learning the reference. He did say throw a bomb, but I don't see anything that would warrant me throwing a bomb on the ground. What else is there? Oh. Okay. You struck luck, my friend. His wares aren't <laughs> elsewhere. My goods will improve your fortunes, so long as you improve mine. That's great. Yeah, I'll get some bombs. What if the heck are you? <laughs> Isn't the world just so bleak? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it is! Oh, I resolved to see all colors. Not just what these puny eyes can show me. I will alchemize these shrimp goggles. You'll see. Or rather... I'll see. <laughs> All right. Let's go down. I'm gonna go back to the wolf. Wait, what do you mean locked? Didn't he give me a key? Or did he say I needed to get the key? Hang on. Oh, hold on. That's probably an easy way to do this already. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Um, jump to the right. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. Is this just gonna... Well... <laughs> that wasn't very useful. None of them go down. Okay, well, I'll go give the wolf his citizenship. Hey, rookie. What's up? Wait, I went past the scroll. I gotta remember scroll. His leave. <laughs> us. Forgot where the wolf was. I think he's in the next room. I 
I like that the shopkeeper is almost a one for one for <laughs> for the Zelda one. Good. There's no lives, so this is fine. Um, I can't believe they did a Hotel Mario. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Looking at the newest citizen of Fairmore Town. <laughs> really? I can't believe it. Thanks. Oh, right. Have a lantern. See you around, kiddo. Light up dark areas for lantern as long as you have lamp oil. Okay. Then I wonder what the candle's for. I love how this is an aesthetic. Where once upon a time this was made fun of with the Zelda game. Though. I think for a time, like. Journalists and stuff praise the Zelda game. Yeah, I don't know. You're too young to understand, that's fair. I mean, this is something that I don't think even made it here for us. I just understand it from the memes that came on YouTube way later. So I, I appreciate the game because I know what it's referencing, though having not played it myself. I lived through an era where, like, 2D games were considered bad graphics. <laughs> Just, if the game had 2D graphics at a certain point, it was, like, outdated or horrible. I will... I didn't have the red. Like, imagine that. Oh no, 2D graphics are good, and, th you know, the earlier 2D games have aged better than the earlier 3D games. But it was just a thing because of the technology leap at the time, you know. I think... 2D is better, in a lot of ways. It's not that 3D is bad, it's just... I don't know, for me it's more visually pleasing. <laughs> 3D can definitely be really good when done well, but... For the most part... You like the Command and Conquer Red Alert series of 2D times. Oh, Command and Conquer was great. One. Don't have enough sacred candles to this barrier. Interesting. Any sort of, um... 
game that tried to be 3D, but it was 2D was great. Like Diablo 2 had a good aesthetic as well. The cave system. Age of Empires, Majesty. I'll take a look. Not so fast. If you run out of light, you might not make it back. Take this. If you rope. use rope in dark places, you'll escape back to safety. That makes sense. <laughs> I love these character designs. Gotta be more careful. I mean, even the music, they're capturing what the game was. Okay, so... I mean, I can probably do without it for now. Oh, there we go. D. Oh! That, okay, death. <laughs> I appreciate that it just lets you try again and doesn't pull a Zelda 2 where it just puts you, like, at the very start when you lose enough. But I don't have red magic. How? What do? Yeah. Down. Got one more in me. Oh, there. no. No. Ah! Damn it. Uh oh. This is not good for business. Need to hurry up. Ah. I may have to yellow it. I've got one more lantern left. Okay, then it goes down. Okay, from here, I'll use it. Stupid treat. Oh, Hotel Mario. Oh, this is not Hotel Mario. Whoa. Got rubies. Again, the look of it's great. Uh, the game crashed. <laughs> Hold on. That's good. It has auto save, so it should be okay. I hope. No, it's giving me the authentic experience. Don't worry, it has auto save. Thankfully, it doesn't try to emulate the 90s too much. <laughs> Bye. Uh, making it so you have to manually save. So, you know, that's fine. I didn't lose much progress.
Oh. Crap. I don't have lantern oil now. Well, that's a bit of a... Okay. Much like childhood. There were NES games where it was like... Do your best in the dark. I think it was drop here, because that's safe. Yeah, see, the lanterns kind of indicate where to go. I think... I was going to say, I think I'll be fine. Actually, good level design, because you could probably do this without a lantern. Should be safe. This is safe. What is that thing? Like a derpy snail. Oh! <laughs> Speed ring, magic ring project. Protects against projectiles. Halt LB. Oh, cool. Oh, I get it. Gee, I wonder what that's refer- ah! <laughs> That was the end of the level. I wonder what that's referencing. Some sort of speed mammal, no doubt. Okay, I was fine. Got there without- Without light. Yeah, I mean, automatic save is one of those things that... As long as there's a manual save option, I'm okay with it. But if you haven't known the struggle of, like, wanting... to get to the next save point before your parents tell you to stop playing and then they get tired of you not reaching the save point and they think you're stalling for time. You haven't lived. Or like, just not getting far enough, like... You're just about to reach the next checkpoint and you die. My favorite thing is to watch someone play an older game that isn't aware of, like, games not having autosave. And just the horror when they're like, wait, I have to do this again. <laughs> Whoa, this one's tanky. I hope she gets a downstab move. I know it's trying to reference the original material, but, like, some Zelda 2 stuff would be good. Nothing. Don't have lantern oil. I have to go back to town and buy some.
I'm going to be like... Trying to do this. Without a light source. Because that'll go well, right? It's okay. I grew up with Mega Man 2. That was like a stage I was in the dark. I've also played Zelda 2 where you don't have a light source at the start and you have to try and navigate without one. No, I mean, the town probably has lantern oil. Odds are this is going to be like falling down a specific crevice. I'll just go get lantern oil. Had I known, I would have tried to save it. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely guilty of hoarding. Like... Items where I'm like, oh, that's too good to use now. I'm going to save it for when I really need it. And then that need never comes. I am proud to say that in Elden Ring, the recent playthrough I did... I did use the, uh, the big item. So whilst I still did some hoarding, at least I used some of the, uh, the big ticket items. Just, like, the visuals here look good. I'm not supposed to be emulating, well, trying to match a style that people made fun of, but genuinely, the background here with the visual effect looks pretty cool. I like it. It's like they're going for authenticity, but still making it look nice. Oh. Okay, hold on, there's something. Okay, that's the key. I like this idea of, like, making a game based off something that was considered bad for its time. Or at least made fun of, but then unironically making it good. There's two of them here. Is that the end of the stage? I just want to see what's over here before activating the tower. More blocks. There are games in the past that would have been called trash, but in the new century they're called treasure. I mean, there's definitely things that were underappreciated for their time. They got flack. Like, a good example is um, Wind Waker. Like, at the time, people. I knew a lot of people that really didn't like the direction that game went in visually. Of course, once they got it, they enjoyed it, but at the time, yeah. 
And the GameCube as well in general, like it just didn't sell that well. But now everyone wants Nintendo Switch Online to have GameCube. There's some things that I don't think can ever really, truly get a new sense of appreciation, because it's just bad. There's some NES games that, no matter how much time passes, they're still truly awful. But they could get, like, a treatment where their issues are fixed up. It seems to be a trend now, like... Just kind of polishing up something that was flawed. I can't get that one. Because I don't have red. I'll go back to town and buy some lantern oil. There we go. Oil. I go on to see the shopkeeper again and get struck luck, my friend. These wares aren't elsewhere. My goods will improve your fortunes so long as you improve mine. <laughs> I love it. I mean, okay. I enjoyed a game that is widely considered one of the worst Super Nintendo games. Oh, you need red magic to actually attack them. So, because I was a kid, and I guess as a kid, it's kind of... It takes a while before you get to a point where... You start thinking about a game being bad. I guess for us, because we didn't get many new games and we rented them, I was just happy to have something new, despite what I was playing later on, knowing, hmm. So, the game that I liked was uh, considered one of the worst games, okay. I should play it again one day. Or try to finish it, because I never did. And, you know... The main reason being, in hindsight, the game being that bad that it's it's very hard to finish as a result. It's doable, but you need patience, to say the least. It really tells me the old days. Oh, I'm old. Like I know this. I'm a millennial, so I got nothing to hide. It's good, it's good in some ways. Because I got to live through things that, um, were pretty neat. And then I'm just too old for certain things that are kind of cringe. Pretty much Gen Z. Okay. I mean, Gen doesn't. Generation doesn't matter, honestly. It just means that, you know, you're gonna be used to particular colloquial terms and. I guess just ways of expression. But you could be from, like, you know. From a younger generation. You could be like a generation alpha, but if, like, your main influences are millennials, you're gonna behave like a millennial. For a while. It, it's basically more for the general, general populace, and you do get a different perspective for sure. Right, like, you wouldn't have seen some of the stuff I've seen, but... That doesn't necessarily mean that you're stuck with the mindset of, like, the generation that you're in.
Like, you might not have the complete understanding, but you might have an appreciation for it. I like this music. This, this just reminds me of, like, someone at a shopping mall selling Peruvian flute music CDs. I don't know if that's still a thing anymore. main influence was mainly Millennials. Well, there you go. I mean, my brother... I have two younger brothers that are a different generation, effectively, but they behave like Millennials because, you know, their influences was me and my other brother, who are Millennials. Locked. Okay. I need to spend my money. I haven't found anything new to go on a quest on. Oh, there's a key here. What was locked? Wait, so the key for that was just there? Anyway. Not gonna lie, you mostly identify as millennial, mostly because of their influence. That's fair enough. What are you working on? Oh, it's just a little bull weapon. You can if you relate to millennials more, it's, it's definitely because it of the influence. I need fairy dust to get it working, but I can't find any fairies anymore. Oh, kill them. I mean, for a while, like, because my. But I'll keep a lookout for them. My influences were my older cousins. I kind of related more to Gen X. If you bring some of their dust, I get this arm working in très rapidement. So, you know, some of the music I listened to was a bit on the older side. What are you working on? Oh, it's just a little bone weapon. So she's got the red one. Magic. <laughs> Thing is... Fairy dust, fairy okay. Dust to get it working. But I can't find any fairies anymore. Oh, In your eyes, the message you receive is Boomer ruined your future. But I'll keep a look. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. I hear fairies hide in the desert. If you bring some I mean, dust, I get this arm working. It's not all of them, but most of them kind of have this weird attitude. Um, It's like, you know, basically, I screw you, I got mine. Kind of thing. It's like you need to work hard, if not harder, than what I did. Instead of kind of wanting it better for their kids and grandkids, which is a bit of a weird thing, given their parents wanted a better future for their children, and were pretty selfless. And they just think that like the way of that they did things is still applicable, when it just really isn't. Particularly the stuff about, like, oh, just getting out there and finding a job. It's not the case anymore. Like, it's so... It's so heavy how much companies use AI to just scan resumes and stuff these days. Like, effectively, you're not dealing with humans anymore until the very end. So it's like, it's a different meta to be able to go out and find work. I mean, even stuff that was, you know, the go-to for teenagers. Like going to retail. Dude, you have to take exams to go work at like a place like Kmart now. It's no longer a case of just going in and going, hey, is the manager in? I would like a job, please. Like, you, it just doesn't happen anymore. But yet they still throw that advice out. It's just like, don't listen to what they have to say, really. Or at least just pretend you're listening, not and smile, because a lot of it's just, it's from a different world. My only tip is to help folks in need. I forgot what I was reading, but um, I know in the US, a lot of the big companies, it's like 90% of them are using resume scanning software. So you have, it's more or less, 
they set it up so they scan resumes for key phrases, like what they're looking for. And if your resume doesn't have it, they just straight up, it just goes in the re auto reject pile. So, you know, a lot of people are, don't know about that. And they're not really get having a chance. So, yeah. If you've never looked into that stuff, it's, I think, it's definitely something you need to learn. Because it's, it's just how it is nowadays. We're talking about larger companies, of course. Like, if you're going to work for, like, a startup or a smaller company, um, whilst the odds are that they might still use that stuff, it's not in, um, I guess, the, those stats. At ease, Univor. Did I surprise you? The good kind of surprise. Not like running out of supplies. You don't want to be caught without a bomb in a hard place. I'll remember that. Keep up the good work. Yes, princess. I surely... I need to find out where... Where this pixie dust is. I say, what a lovely day in the kingdom. Yeah, fighting Dimer is great. Haven't you noticed his return? No, oh, that dreadful villain. Heaven's you had the concept of each generation complaining that they had the worst life, meaning that they were the greatest. Yeah, I mean, that's just always going to be a thing. It's just a human thing. It's one of those things that just the generation above you will always be out dated at a certain point and then when you get older you'll feel the generation under you is like weird or they're just laughing at stupid stuff you know, I, I worry about the whole TikTok culture we have but at the same time it's just like well may not have had TikTok culture but Sometimes TV culture was just that bad. And, you know, the rise of the internet as well. It, it, there was definitely moments where it was, you know, I don't know. Relatively as cursed. Like, when Jackass, for example, um, right, had a rise to fame, people were just imitating that stuff, right? And I can imagine that the boomers at that time were thinking, man, these kids, idiots, what they're doing. And, you know, th th it's probably like our equivalent of what's happening with TikTok is just that sort of thing. Or South Park as well was like another thing that I remember older people hating. Just because it was very crude humor. So, I know I, I can't relate to the TikTok culture, really. I try to avoid that app where possible. Like, I'm on there purely because, you know, posting clips and stuff. And as a content creator, you, you sort of have to do that. But I'm not, like, scrolling TikTok at, like, 3 in the morning or something. Or using it. The wildest thing is I, I see kids using it as, like, a search engine, searching for stuff. Which, it makes sense. Like, there's content out there that, um, you know, it's there to teach. It's fair enough. But it's the idea is still wild to me because on that same platform, there's just weird, weird stuff. Wait, you already hate Generation Alpha? Oh, but it's probably because of, like, the reality they live in, right? 
But it's not all of Generation Alpha. I guess that's the thing. Like, I got a niece in that generation, and... I don't think she's gonna end up that way, and it's mainly because, you know, parenting. It's just... She's not allowed to just sit in front of a device constantly. She reads a lot. Very bright kid. But on the other- on the other hand, I have some other relatives that, um, are the opposite of that. And some of the rot has truly kicked in. Not to be harsh, but... You know, it, it is what it is, right? It just ultimately depends... ...on how... ...you spend your free time. Um... I guess go here, because I have... Hang on, was this the one? The pyramid. Because I have a light source now. But, um, there's definitely, you know, a case to be made about kids that just sit in front, well, were given iPads effectively, or, you know, laptops or whatever, phones to entertain instead of actually spending time with them. I just look at those Finger Family videos that were truly cursed on YouTube and were being recommended to younger kids, just, well... Coming up in, like, a playlist of just stuff for intended for younger kids. Okay, so let me see if there's anything worthwhile here. Video games are good only if they are great at making you understand stories and the reasoning of people living. In your eyes, Yakuza is a great example of that. I mean, yes, violence is bad, but each person and the animations are great. Yeah. Gaming's one of those things... So, I, you know, grew up in an era where... Gaming often made the news saying that it was ruining kids, just period. Doesn't matter what you were playing. But... It just comes- this is the way that I see it, is like most- It's like food. You know, you have food that's good for you, and then you have junk food. And if you only consume junk food, then of course you're gonna get unhealthy. And it's the same with games. Like, if you're only playing games that don't really have a substance in the sense of, like, storytelling, or... Um, like, letting you read, or problem-solving, critical thinking, that sort of thing. Um, then, of course, you're gonna end up mentally unhealthy. Right? I'm not gonna say which games I consider fall into that category, but... You know... I, I think a lot of the shooters and stuff fall into that these days. I played my fair share of shooters, and there's nothing wrong with playing them. It's like, again, the same as junk food. You can have some junk food, it's fine, but if it's only junk food you're eating, then... Well, yeah, it's not great. Huh. Hating Dota again? No. This is more talking about... It's part conversation that's going on on YouTube as well, so it's like, might be confusing to keep up. But just the whole thing about, wait, is this something? Like kids that have been raised on iPads only, effectively generation alpha, right? Or like a generation that was only playing games and, you know, not really doing anything else. 
And just my experiences as, you know, growing up in the era where no matter what, playing games was considered bad, like it was on the news constantly. Sitting too close to the... T you were told sitting too close to the TV was going to make you blind. That sort of stuff. Or that playing video games like, um... Yeah, Cross-Eyed, that was another one. Playing video games like slowed down development when in reality it wasn't really that. Yeah, any video games cause violence. <laughs> A big one. Anyone who plays video games is a nerd. You don't want your child to be a nerd. So I was just saying that, like... There's two extremes these days when it comes to, like, the younger generation. There's the extreme... And this is why I was talking about the whole junk food thing. Is like, I see games as, as the same way as junk food, right? And food in general is like... You can have games that are thought-provoking... Critical, have critical thinking, puzzles, whatever, right? Storytelling, those are the games that are good for a person. But if you're only playing games that don't really have any of that, and it's kind of just like consume, 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 then it's no better than just eating junk food. So it has a similar detrimental effect if that's all you're doing. I don't have candles, I don't know how to progress. Anyway. I just know of two cases in my circle of people I know, and I'll say it like that. You know, I have my niece who her time with devices is very well monitored and controlled, and she reads a lot, and you know, she's very switched on. And then... I know others that, uh, don't do that. There's nothing wrong with reading. Or being a nerd, like I'll proudly say that I, I am that. What are you working on? Oh, it's just a little ball weapon. I was in the smart class in high school, so by every definition, I need fairy dust to get it. Working. I was a nerd. I can't find it. I had a computer. I had a computer in the nineties. Like what about you, child? Was into computers. No, but I'll keep a lookout for them. Ah, fantastic! I hear fairies hide in the desert. If you imagine that, like the... being called a nerd for having a computer, like what a crock. <laughs> What are you working on? Hang on, I gotta oh, see this. It's just a little bull Did I finish Yakuza? Like no. I'm playing it later. <laughs> Thing is... I'm kind of at a point where I'm having to grind a lot of money. But I can't find any fairies anymore. <laughs> oh, quel dommage. What about you, child? Nope. But I'll keep a lookout for them. I don't know where they are. I hear desert, yeah. The desert. If you bring some of their dust, I get this arm working in très rapidement. I'm playing this game beforehand because I've been wanting to play it for a while. But it's... A spiritual... I guess it's a spiritual successor. But it's... It's definitely referencing that Zelda game that Nintendo refuses to acknowledge. The one that had all the YouTube poops and meme... stuff. What game? Um, what was it called? It was a Zelda game, but it was on the CDI. There's, there were two of them. And the way those games came to be was that 
Nintendo was looking for a CD attachment for the Super Nintendo. And so they partnered with Sony originally, and they made this thing called the PlayStation. Not THE PlayStation, but this prototype device called the PlayStation. And then Nintendo got worried that they thought Sony was trying to get into the video game market. So they decided to go make a deal with us. I think it was Philips. You can look this up if I'm using the wrong company names, but... You know, they went to them, and part of the deal was Philips would develop this CD technology. And um, they were given license to Mario and Zelda. So, you know, what ended up happening, Nintendo never used the technology that Philips did. Um, Philips made two, no, what, three Zelda games. One of them being an actual game about Zelda, two of them being about Link. And they were very, very clunky and horrible and became YouTube poop later. Because of the MS Paint style cutscenes. And what, they made Hotel Mario? Oh, here we go. Oh, thank you for releasing Oh my god, this fairy is on drugs. Alright. Crack fairy. <laughs> Those eyes. No, but this is great. It's like this is Mimicking the art style that the Zelda game had. Enjoy. This is great. Anyway, um, if, you know, I don't know out of spite, but Sony did enter the video game market, and so Nintendo kind of made their biggest competitor as a result of that deal. kind of an interesting story is like if Nintendo wouldn't have gotten paranoid about Sony like what would have happened exactly it's something I didn't learn about until way way later because again this all happened in the US and a lot of that stuff seldom made it here I lived in an era where like, oh cool, this new video game thing is coming out. Okay, Australia will get it like a year to two years later. Or not at all, sometimes not at all. Like Chrono Trigger, one of my favorite games of all time, never actually got released until later on, on a different console. Good. Yeah, it's an interesting little piece of history. Just the Zelda games that aren't mentioned anywhere in Nintendo's timelines or anything like that. Or when they do like an official look back at the series those games are never mentioned they can they're considered non-existent to them because they're just that embarrassing i think it's called the wand of gamelon or something like that or the forces of evil but you know the, the games they I think there's like a fan version of it that's cleaned up the controls a bit, but the original version is truly awful to play, like, the controls are horrible. But the cutscenes, um, yeah, got famous, cause... YouTube poop. Millennial humor. All right, here's your fairy dust. I found some fairy dust. Oh, terrific! Thank you, dear royal. Let's see. I call it the intelligent gun. It intelligent gun. Cooler magic. Like your sword, it only hurts unfriendly creatures. 
How convenient. can have it, mon princess. Wow, thanks. Oh, almost forgot. The gun's power by souls. Anytime you say souls? Look for its feu de lame. It's soul fire. Here's 50 souls to start with. Um, thanks. Bonne chance, princess. Now to my next invention. <laughs> no red flag, sir. Wait. I guess I have red now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. How do I get blue? May I? Of course. It's beautiful. A vast universe, but our world is a speck. Puts it all into perspective, huh? Your interest has made my day. As a gift, take some cosmic jewelry. Oh, cool. The stars. They're almost as bright as you, Odie. Ah. Hang on, I'm gonna alt that out for a sec. Just the Twitch chat crashed. It, it, well, it just keeps crashing the page. I don't know why. Anyway, that's fine. That's back. I need to get a bigger wallet. Yeah, the thing that I wonder is, like, if Nintendo would have kept that partnership with PlayStation, if the original PlayStation would have been, been made at all. Because if it, let's say it didn't, as a hypothetical, it probably meant Sega could have survived as a console manufacturer. I mean, they had their own set of problems. I'm sure it probably wouldn't have altered the course they were on, but they probably could have hung in there. Oh, you're a doll! There's a doll! Gorgeous! As promised, a hero gave me this canteen. Drink <laughs> from it, and it'll renew your spirits. Ta ta! Okay, good. Alright, well now I have red block. Alright. There we go. Welcome to the kingdom's finest library. Our volumes cover all manner of subjects. Please help yourself. Do you have anything on Dimer? Hm. Well, you would ask about that. No, and if I may be so bold, I'd say this mess could have been avoided if the Book of Ocarin was kept by a skilled librarian like myself. Hmm, skills? Like prioritizing the romance section? <laughs> Quiet, you miserable wretch! There's a coin up there. I want the coin. Oh, wait, I can't get the... Interesting. Very messy. Alright, it's a brick wall. I don't think there's anything else to see in town. Potion Alchemist. I should spend my money. I wonder if I can get a bigger wallet. Oh no, there it's see, so I can get... Ow. Oh wait, get this. What is this? Ah, you bought one of my music scrolls. Finally, someone else would taste. How about a live performance? No, maybe next time then. That's weird, it doesn't have a cutscene for it, but fine. Okay, um, we have red, so I'm gonna go back here. Hmm. 
Oh, it's the rat. Hey, think what it... Well, you got what it takes to beat my best time. All right, then. Meet me at the top of the forest near the beacon in two minutes. Speed run, okay. That's totally what I wanted to do. Ah! You have a deep-seated regret for being the kid that reminded the teacher about homework. <laughs> I was in the smart class, and I, I even I didn't do that. Good. Oh, no, okay, still fine. I thought I had to redo. This might be lenient, because it's the first one. Thirty seconds. This is probably not in the works. Go. Just tank the hit. We gotta go. I lose. Time's up. Can I retry? There's no quick retry. Never peak in high school, they said. Or else you're left wondering the past instead of focusing on what you have now. There's nothing wrong with like having a good time in high school, right? Just don't let that be... I guess that's the definition of peaking, is like... You kind of let those moments be what defines you for a while. What is this? This... food is fit for frog royalty. Interesting. I'll say for me that I didn't peak in high school. <laughs> I think there's a bit of leeway here. I just need to be better at dodging. again. I'll beat this rat yet. This is not no bueno. I do have this. Take one more hit. Drink it. See, this part I got down. It's just this part here that kind of sucks. Okay. Committed to the heal. Looks like you can jump that.
Yeah, I got a minute. I got a minute. I got a whole minute. Uh-oh. Get out. No. I don't want to break this. Twenty seconds. I think I got this. There we go, right. Wow, you're fast. Of course, I'm still faster, but you still did it. Here's a few rubies to celebrate. Come see me in Faramore Town when you're ready for the next challenge. Okay, I'm going back down now. There's something else to acquire. Um, did the sound cut out? Or is it just on my end? Let me know. I'm going to assume it's just on my end. Hang out. It's possible the headset's like updating or something, which is a little annoying. Don't hear any sound. Okay, hold on, let me bring up. Oh no, it's definitely... The game has no sound now, why? Okay, hold on. I'll leave the stage. Weird. I don't know, I mean... Is this using the same engine that Doom Tombow was? That would explain it, because that had... Wait, I can't go out. What? Okay, I'm all f <laughs> The only common denominator here is like, this is a game from limited run games. Okay, now there's audio. I can see it in the audio mixer, but I'm not- I'm still not getting sound. The kingdom of Okay, hang on, I'm pausing the recording. I'll be back when this resolves on the VOD, if you're watching this later. Okay, it's all fixed, all good. It's just my headset being weird. I probably tried to swap sound devices when my headset was doing an update, and that's why audio got all jank. Anyway, it's all good. But, you know, I was thinking maybe it was the game, but then, no, it was system audio wasn't routing to my headset. Because Toomba published by the you know, same company. And it had issues where audio was cutting out. Well, background music in particular. So, I was thinking it might have been related. Wait, what's about that? Oh! I got a candle. And I can see what this is about. There's an upper area that required one candle. 
Oh, I forgot to... Ugh, sorry. I forgot to tab back to Twitch chat. Okay, all good. It's been a week of technical issues for me. <laughs> I guess every stage had red blocks, so I'm gonna have to revisit them. There was that weird snail, but I don't think I can get to it anyway, because it required a high jump. challenge me <laughs> what behooves you to <laughs> Ugh, cease this laughter you will suffer nay you <laughs> <laughs> nay i'm low on health <laughs> okay. Yeah, eat it, Clive. That's strut. Okay, this is actually fine. Come here! Stop horsing around! <laughs> Alright. That worked. Can't do that. Uh... Yes, keep going. I should buy a lantern refill when I have the money. I mean, I don't think the game's trying to be hard. It's just trying to be accurate to what the reference material is. Well, I have 30 of these, so, you know. Ooh. Okay. I gotta remember I have this as a power. Seen that otherwise. Wait. Oh, I can't get back up. I don't know if that's a crack in the wall. 
Stop, good. <laughs> well done. Okay, I can just bypass all of this. It doesn't look it. Alright. Alright, I need to go see that other one. Oh, it's not red. Blue. Okay, never mind. But I got red anyway, so this wasn't a waste. I'll go back to town and buy like a heal. It's a weird way to lay out items. <laughs> Okay. Um, I got some bombs. Why not? I thought that was it. I keep thinking this is the exit. Um, okay, we're up to this now. I'll leave the uh, the speed stuff to later. Oh, see, I can just cut through this now. Wait. Does that mean this doesn't have anything worthwhile? Good. Oh, hang on. This has... I guess the next room has something I can actually get. Oh, and I can get this this time. I love how very close it is to the original. Ha! Well, they can join the club. Where's my father? His Majesty requests your presence. Oh boy! Alone! Father? <coughs> ah, I'd hoped to see you, RZ. I'm not long for this world. It'll soon be up to you to lead Faramore. Don't talk that way. Even if it were true, I can't lead a kingdom. You will lead this kingdom through its best days. I'm certain I'm- Please say, my girl. I must return to my quest. Goodbye, father. Um, I think that was- Was there more to this? I'm trying to think. I think there is more to this. My boy. Oh. Well, oh, this is new. This is why you check. Good. 
Your inner child is happy because Zelda logic is actually working. Thinking there's a secret everywhere. <laughs> Just trying something. If this is really referencing 90s games, like, and it already did reference Castlevania at some point. I wonder if they're doing, like, a, a Simon's Quest. If you don't know what that is, it's one of the Castlevania games had a stupid quest that was very poorly translated and obscure. And the answer to it was going to this part of the map, standing in a corner and crouching for 30 seconds until a tornado took you away to the next area. So dumb. But often referenced. <laughs> I want to talk to Crack Fairy again. Oh, thank you for releasing me, dear. Allow me to heal you. All right. <laughs> oh, she didn't do the crazy eyes this time. Mm hmm. This is why we check. Um, I need blue. What is... Oh. Yeah, worth... worth. Okay. More health. And I'm impressed how this took was effectively a horrible game and made it into something that while still referencing the original horrible game, it's having fun with it. And it's pretty good. Yeah, I can get him now. More Peruvian flute music. Oh, Hotel Mario time. Another game that was considered horrible, and yet they've made something of it. The princess is staying at one of my Koopa hotels. Got rubies. Oh. Put the uh, money cap. Ow. Ow. That was not worthwhile. Hmm. Oh, I thought that was a secret, but genuinely, that's the way to take it out. I should probably save the heal for a boss. Ugh. Okay, it's alright. Checkpoints just here.
Hold on. You can see there's a candle on the other side. Okay, um, candle. Do I? Ooh. Okay, I'm good. I don't know if it uses them or... I think it uses them. A scarecrow? I am more than just a mere scarecrow. <laughs> I am teleport. You can't leave here. Can it's a good voice. But if I please Dama, he'll surely boast of my power. You know, I could teach you. Wise. Prepare to be shocked! Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's... He's throwing corn at me. Whoa! Bad luck. It's got a parry. Ah, <laughs> going in too hot. Play well. That's enough. Oh, put it down. What the put hell? What's that? Give me up. Give me up. Who are you? Well, who was that bird? Car, princess. I can't thank you enough. I should be thanking Zazu, is that you? Ah, no, you gave me the courage to face my greatest fear. You pushed me to push him off. Allow me to teach you to move like a crow. Okay. Good. <laughs> I must be off. There are more crows to liberate. Gah! Okay. I like that. Gives an explanation for that move. Okay. The swamp. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Insta death. Should have guessed. That's a frog. Hmm. It's good to be with a fellow member of high society. Wait a minute. Would you mind stepping aside? Regrettably, my considerable hunger must be satiated. I recognize this voice. Any moving arrangements? Hold on. Alas, I won't accept commoner food. I require fine dining. No, that's Vinny. <laughs> it has to be. Hang on. You understand? Hmm? How's that? Frog. Yeah, how's that frog voice actor? It is. Oh, it is him. <laughs> he did a cameo for this game. That's kind of great. Mm, as they say, bon appetit. 
The streamer I watch is this frog. Quite. Now I shall partake in a stroll. That's pretty neat. I wonder how I got the roll for it. Probably just got off at it. Very entertaining, dude. Good. No. Well done. Walk into the enemy. Fine dining. I wonder if that, that's in reference to, like, he had a character or a voice that he did. It's like a red frog that you lick and get high from. <laughs> it's probably unrelated. I can't believe I picked up that it was him. Because it's not his normal voice. <laughs> yeah, okay, I thought so. <laughs> I was like, that's gonna kill me, isn't it? What? Okay. Just don't be afraid. I didn't know you could step on that stump, but it makes sense now. What on earth are you? What a pretty garden! Oh, you're too kind, lady. <laughs> too bad I can't plant anymore. Me darn shovel broke. Don't worry. I'll oh, hey, Shay J. Sorry I missed that. Oh, <laughs> My Twitch chat is crashing for some reason. I have to refresh it. Every so often tonight. I don't know why. Oh, you're too kind, lady. Too bad I can't plant anymore. Me darn shovel broke. Don't worry. I'll find you a new one. Oh, gosh. Okay, shovel. We played this yesterday, even though there's many different types of level. The nitpick is many enemies are reused. It's a shame, but can live with it. I like how true it is to the reference materials and, you know, just the references it has. That's what I'm here for. Yes, shooting things with guns. <laughs> Locked. Oh, go away. I mean, you can shoot everything, but... Just... Probably extra effective when they're color-coded red. I'm gonna refrain. I love that she's using the sword for everything, like, not, not using hands at all.
Her arm may as well be a sword. Father! Oh, Arzette. <sighs> I'm glad you're here. What's wrong? What happened? Nothing, my daughter. It's a smart sword after all. Makes sense. I'm going to meet I mean, in Minecraft you can punch things and everything eventually breaks, practically. I've lived a long, fortunate life. I have <clears throat> no regrets. Wogram, your service to the kingdom <coughs> pales only to our friendship. Dale... <coughs> <laughs> this character's great. I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> Arzette... Have I encountered the demon fangirl yet? No, not yet. And the best part of my life. Like, I'm not that far into it. It's still pretty early. I love you too, father. <laughs> but I'm curious now. <laughs> fangirl of what? I will do more than defeat Dimer's evil. I'll end it. For good. Yeah, I mean, what, couple of hours ish? Um, I don't know if I should. No, I'll do another rat race. About about eighty minutes. Okay, I'm not that far ahead of you. Hey, Vinny. Oh, it's not talking. Ah, uh, Princess Charmed as ever. I must apologize for hopping away in such a brisk fashion during our previous encounter. I dare say that was the best insect dipped in precious metal I've ever partaken in. Ah, uh, the memory of that indulgence is awakening my hunger again. Do you think you could find another feast fit for the upper crust for your trouble? I could batten up your coffers. Yeah, Vinny, yeah, Vinny from Vine Source voices him. I just looked it up. Because it sounded like one of the dumb voices he's done. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> that sounds like Vinny. And I looked it up and yeah, it's him. I admit you did good in the forest. Tell you what, if you find at least five of these secret coins, I'll test you some on you. Oh. Okay, so he's just not gonna do that. I'm curious who else is in this then, because if they got in him, they probably got other streamers to do voices. I've watched too much of his stuff, like, I, I can recognize his voice. You struck Damn it! That's not what I was trying to do. Why do you put that thing there? My goods will improve your fortunes, so long as you improve mine. I love the animation, though. It's very true to the original. Oh, you don't have to jump. Okay. It's weird that it doesn't do a scene for all of them. But anyway. Um, this would imply there's a bigger wallet. Just haven't figured out where. Okay, but... Wait, who are you? Oh, hello there. Oh, the rope guy. I heard my ropes have been coming in handy. Myself, I had to take a breather from all that splunking. They are pretty brave. Do you think you could help me out? I'd like to find each color of rock that falls throughout the kingdom. There's blue, orange, gray, and brown rocks all in different places. You should be able to catch them with your smart sword, because of course... If you find all of them, I have something to give you. Thanks again, princess. Okay. Smart sword. Yeah, I mean, I would say the frog is like in the next area that you're probably going to get to. Assuming you're playing at the same pace I am. I'm not exactly going that fast. Okay. Guess we're up to this. Oh good, the snow level. My favorite. I don't struggle with snow levels ever. Kinda of cool that they got CDI Zelda and Link voices back for the game. Oh, they got Zelda back as well? That's cool. Which character is Zelda? I mean, I tutorial was definitely quite clearly Link. 
that def that made me smile. She's a narrator. Oh, I didn't pick up on that. Very cool. But I like that they're taking the idea of this game that was... Though... That's the thing, like... Journalists kind of applauded it back in the day, but, you know, in general, everyone thought it was a horrible game, and now making it something playable and genuinely fun. Got a lurk? Not all good. You do you. Just avoid dying, hopefully. <laughs> Wait, up or down? Aha. This is cool. This feels like it's like a Smash minigame. Do better. There's no up step. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, got it. <laughs> I would have restarted the level if I didn't get that. That would have bothered me immensely. Um, I had the right item. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm gonna let the no. Oh, ah, wh oh, what? <laughs> that, uh, that shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> Mutually assured destruction. I don't know how I managed that. Now, is this death or is this a secret? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I had to try. You can blame my childhood with NES games for that one. That's the stage exit. I think I have that. Hang on, let's just see what's in here first. Who are you? This place? It's too chilly for you, don't you think? I'm looking for jewel shards. Hmm. <laughs> I too seek treasure. In warmer places. If you find the crystal of refraction, bring it to me. Why should I? My dear. If you wish to scour cursed places for jewels, you better come well prepared. I can give you protection against evil energy. If you help me. At what cost? Look, are you going to say what I need to do? This place. It's too chilly for you. Oh, hang on. Don't you think? I'm looking for jewel shards. Hmm. <laughs> I too seek treasure. It's not skipping. I pressed the button. Help her, it doesn't say how. Alright. I'll figure it out. Maybe I just have to help the area in general. This area is filled with evil spirit, you will die. Oh. <laughs> that is so dumb. It's like, it's making you read something, and by the time you read it, you're basically dead. If I didn't have that health pick up, I would have died before I finished reading that. Does this have evil energy? No. What is this? Hello. Radical. It's royalty. 
Aren't you a little warm? You can't beat the heat. Though it's pretty gnarly in the volcano. Only reason why you'd want to go down there is for your spirit. I recognize you know this voice as well. Tubula. Let me hear it again. Radical. It's royalty. Aren't you a little warm? You can't beat the heat. Though it's pretty gnarly in the volcano. Only reason why you'd want to go down there is for your spirit. Know what I'm saying? Just a sec. Not at all. Tubula. I'm looking this up. This one's harder to find, like, finding Vinny is easy. I don't think I can find an answer for this one, hang on. I'll look for a few more seconds. Oh, the credits, here we go. This might be it. Sorry, give me a sec, otherwise it's gonna bother me. Ugh, I don't know this guy's name. What is this guy's name? Radical. It's royalty. Aren't you a little warm? You can't beat the heat. Though it's pretty gnarly in the volcano. Only reason why you'd want to go down there is for your spirit. Know what I'm saying? Not at all. Tubula. Tubula. It's alright. The voice is familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. It'll probably come to me when it doesn't matter anymore. That's usually how it goes. Uh oh. Okay, I see how this works. <laughs> I was warned. Uh oh. All right, we battle toads now. Ah! Oh! As if. <laughs> I could have done it. Good work. There's a coin there, but probably not gonna reach it. Candle. Nice. Crystal of refraction. Someone with an ice. Aha. Okay. Cool. Come back. This is. It's funny because I just finished playing. Pumba or Pumbi, whatever you want to call it. Very similar structure, like, get item, find where item get belongs. I just noticed even the, the jump is a Mario jump, like she puts her fist in the air. There's 
no real need to do that, unless she gains an ability to punch the ceiling. But I get it. Ah! There's a Sonic reference and there's a Mario reference. Yeah, totally trust that. <laughs> you cannot traverse areas emitting e Oh, right. Okay. That area I couldn't go to before. Okay. I'll be back. Track. Okay, lantern. Nothing. Okay, these are just there to be annoying. Hotel Mario. I still have a morbid curiosity for the CDI games, despite knowing how bad they are. Like, a game that I enjoyed as a kid that's considered one of the worst Super Nintendo games, so... I guess I got a tolerance for garbage. But it's kind of the same with movies, it's like... I like movies that are so bad that you have to watch them because they're that bad. There's gotta be more to this. I don't know. At a certain point, like, something becomes so bad that it's worth watching. Just because it's amusing. Ah. Looks like there's more to this. Or not. <laughs> I'm just imagining it. remember. There are bricks to come for later. What is this? Okay. Bolt, sir. You know how to put the moves on ghouls. I'm grateful for you sucking it to those unruly ghosts. Feeling bonesome tonight? Here's something that'll really have you all shook up. My work is pretty grave, but that doesn't mean I can't groove in my bone suede shoes. 
these. <laughs> this gauntlet can punch with the strength of bombs as long as you have power stones. It can destroy Great Carl Barrett Oracle. Um, how does one get power stones, I guess? Oh. Use pass. I guess tutorial. That's fine. Um, I don't remember where I saw these. <sighs> I mean, I'm too lazy to take notes, but this is the sort of thing where you need to take notes, like where you see a particular color block. I'll go back here for a minute. You know. Yeah, technical issues. I had to stitch the two VODs together because it crashed OBS. Alright. The kingdom of Faramore knew peace for an age. A beautiful... Uh, hold on. There we go. I mean, thankfully there's autosave in this, so whatever, it's fine. Like, it didn't really do anything horrible. You know, I can totally tell the future too, brah. Oh, tell me then. What do you see? In like a totally distant land, you know, where the fields are filled with yellow tulips and stuff and people wear tree- Go on. Is that- Okay, sorry, I'm just paranoid that it's not like recording anything. Trees <laughs> on their feet. A great radical power will be born. One that, like, you know, can hold all the world's information on a single oval object, show you, like, flowers and boats and mutants. That power will totally, like, fall into the wrong hands, dude, and many, like, many faces of evil. But that's a story for another day, dude. Oh, faces of evil, haha. -ha. No! Will a hero come save the land? No. Mistakes were made. Okay, hang on. Anyway. Okay, so there was... Oh, no. Alright, we'll try and do this. You can't pan the camera down. Everything's fine. Ah, no, it's not. Damn it. It didn't let me get back up there. Okay. I got it this time, though. Oh, wait. Hey, that's already... Hmm? Apparently that one's already hit, and it got stayed... the other side of that. Maybe there's a double jump or something. Yeah, it's too tight a jump. Alright, I'm gonna try and get the candle at the very least. Ah, uh, okay. That's annoying. Right, okay. Leave the level. Repeat. It doesn't let me jump up from below. There's an invisible wall. Hmm. 
I would assume it keeps it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Get to the bottom. Okay, um... Do I have enough? Hold on. I have two. No, it needs more. Let me guess, water death. Yep. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I guess I need to find the key. Doesn't look like I can do anything here yet. What happened? OBS crashed. I'm kind of concerned for my computer a little bit. Given the whole Intel debacle. My mates abandoned me. Now, I'm hallucinating royalty. I think they just left through the door. I've heard tales of shoes that allow you to jump in midair. If I had them, Double I jump. could escape. Uh, you can easily leave. Oh, stop taunting me, Figment. <laughs> I've accepted my fate. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> So this is why the VODs later come in handy, because if any stuff like that happens, well... It's one logical thing as opposed to what it is now, broken up. I don't know, it might be related to Twitch because I keep getting the browser thing. Hold on. What does this error mean?
Uh, wait, candle. There we go. Ah! There's so many different colored blocks, like there's gonna require a lot of different items. What is that? Ominous cloud. This magic can destroy blue colored barriers, which ma oh, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, well, we got blue magic now. I've churned this brew, but I'm missing something. What, like fairy dust? No, silly girl. Ogre hair. Just one strand and it'll be complete. Ogre hair? Oh, okay. That's going to be like a chain quest. I feel like I shouldn't grab that yet because then I can't. Eh, do it. Who am I to say no to more health? I guess now... Yeah, I need to take notes. Where blue was. I think I remembered correctly. I mean, I know where there's definitely some blue. There's blue at town. Let me try something. No. Okay. Just checking. That one requires to double jump. You can't jump and do that. Well, that just leads to the end of the stage. Hang on. The other one, do. Wait, it doesn't lead anywhere? I thought there was another exit here. Yeah, there is here.
Yeah, I was right. Okay. Scandal. Alright, now back to town real quick. Just to do that. Straightforward. Pretzels. So, business is booming then, Maki? Yeah. Folks need treats. Especially in these dark times. You provide an invaluable service to the kingdom. Say, after you defeat Dimer, do you think we could get a coffee or something? It's a promise. Then I hope you beat him soon. Okay. Interesting. Is there a cap here? Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Wait. No success? Time's up. Or is this just do it? Yeah, I mean... Probably wasn't a good call to do that. I hit the money cap already. So there's probably a wallet upgrade that I've missed. He's just selling more consumables. All right. I think that's a good stopping point for this. It didn't go back to main menu. <laughs> I'm going to have to stitch that last segment together. Um, but yeah. I'll play more of this soon. It's fun. We'll continue it next time. Um, I'm going to take a small intermission, and then we're going to continue like a dragon. So... Stick around for that. But if you're here for RZ, uh, thanks for tuning in.